Haters talking, but I don't even hear them. <laughs> yeah, man. Yo guys, it's going on Toby Hill or Tobe Chisel and welcome back to another episode of Topical Tobes. Now, before I get on to today's topic, um, I just want to explain what's going on in the background. It's one of my own gameplays. Um, it's a really recent one, to be fair, because it's after the DLC content has come out and I'm using the Peacekeeper in this gameplay and I really, really do enjoy using this gun. Like, I'm probably going to get bored of it in a couple of days or so, um, depending on how much I play it. But I think the look of the gun, I think it looks amazing and... Um, I think it's it's quite a strong weapon, like it's not overpowered as such, um, but at the same time it's really good to use and you know, it's just, it's, it makes a really nice change I guess. But um, yeah, moving on to today's gameplay, now this week I struggled really hard, like I made it um, my target I guess to find something that wasn't too negative to commentate on because like a lot of the topics I do tend to cover tend to be like um, covering really negative um, stories as such and you can't blame me for that because generally in the news you do tend to find negative stories like I don't think there's ever been a day where I've like watched the news or read news articles online where I haven't seen a negative storyline so it's something that's really hard to avoid but I kind of set my sights on finding something not too negative to talk about and this is really quite a funny story that I'm gonna cover basically um the owner of a car in um, Edinburgh in an Edinburgh car park couldn't find the space to park and I'm going to leave this article in, in the description below so you guys can go check that out and um, you know just get a feel for the story a better feel for the story so I don't have to describe the whole thing but um, just a quick summary they um, couldn't find a place to park in this car park because um, half of it had been like cordoned off I guess or there had been barriers put up because there were plans for um, resurfacing of part of the car park and so this this um car owner must have moved um moved the barriers just so they could park their car in the area and so um these workers who were going to resurface the place turned up the next day ready to do their job as such and um they turn up to a mercedes parked in the middle of like the area where they're meant to resurface so like obviously they couldn't just leave their job for the day because one person had stupidly parked their car like in that place so um, they have to they end up digging around the car and there really is quite a funny picture of you just you just see the um, Mercedes parked in the middle of this like half dug up car park and you're thinking what the fuck is going on here but um the workers were nice enough to leave a ramp for the car owner to be able to remove their car later but it just brings to mind that the fact that um you tend to get a lot of um, rich people or wealthy people doing what, <laughs> whatever they want. I don't know if it's, if, if it's because they are rich, they think they can get away with shit. But it tends to be a frequent occurrence. Like, I was talking to um, Josh Zerker about it. And um, he was saying to me how when he goes to university, um, you tend to see lots of really nice cars parked in, in like, disabled parking bays and they don't have disabled badges and shit which you're required to have um, over here in England to park in a disabled bay but um yeah they don't have that so it seems like they're just taking advantage of the fact that they're wealthy and whatever fines they have to pay they might pay it and it's kind of really annoying because like people don't think about the consequences their actions will have on other people like say a rich person parks in a disabled bay there might be a disabled person who then has nowhere to park because of them and um, has to, I don't know, struggle. Like, it, it just puts people in a really awkward position. The same thing with those workers. Like, it made their task a little bit harder. But I want to know what you guys think about this. So if you guys could hit me up in the comments section below with your thoughts. Once again, I want to thank you for all your support on my previous episodes of Topical Topes. Like, um, I can't keep doing this without you guys. Like, so, yeah, just a massive thank you to all you guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, feel free to leave a like. And I'll talk to you in a bizzle. Peace.